Hello and welcome. This is Sama Fifi from One Hour Networking. I want to share with you uh, some uh, something about uh, uh, Juniper routers, about uh, RRB, uh, which is a virtual router redundancy protocol. Uh, it's uh, a crucial technology for LAN switching because it uh, provide redundancy for the hosts in the LAN. Uh, to connect to the internet now this small uh, small network we will build uh, step by step uh, I have some some uh, problems when when I build uh, something with the virtual uh, routers uh, uh, you have uh, this uh, error tells you that uh, cannot assign the requested address which is uh, uh, which is uh, fine for now because it's a uh, virtual uh, and uh, Juniper routers when they boot up they start looking for uh, the layer 2 uh, signals uh, if uh, Juniper routers from the beginning they, did, they didn't find uh, the layer 2 by I don't know which technology maybe by directional forwarding detection or something uh, but uh, what I did uh, really is just a neat and small uh, trick. Uh, I bought another switch, which is a Ethernet switch like this. I just uh, changed the sample to be a router. Um, where's the router? Man, come on. Mm, ah, yeah. I bought this. Uh, and for the uh, writing, uh, I change uh, no not not here edit text and I find this neat type of uh, color then I make lower one layer so when you put it under your Juniper router you know, not will show or appear uh, and uh, it will help you to keep all of your uh, interfaces uh, in a state of up that's uh, you see, uh, this is uh, our uh, this is our Juniper router 11, and this is Juniper router 12. Uh, all of them, all interfaces, uh, EM from 0 to 7 uh, in the up state. Uh, now, how? Uh, to assign or uh, to uh, attach uh, this uh, just uh, go to the interface you want like uh, this is uh, Ethernet 6 uh, we want Ethernet 0 or this is 3 5 7 yes this is 1 delete and this is delete. You can delete as much as you want because now uh, after booting you don't need even the switch. Uh, so you can delete them after you uh, after the boot process. Oh, this will be more beneficial. Yeah, thank you. And we have now our uh, two uh, routers virtual uh, routers and now we'll go uh, to one what happened okay this is two two but uh, we will delete this because uh, I don't want to attach uh, this switch uh, this router to uh, layer uh, two switch interface uh, how uh, to attach it to the internet or to a uh, real router we take cloud and uh, really uh, the cloud is uh, attached to my uh, ethernet uh, interface real ethernet interface but now uh, let's change something let's change to internet this is one or dash one and dash two can switch them. Oh, 
let's switch them like this uh, now uh, you need to uh, I, I like to change the sample to this uh, thing to identify that we are touching uh, we are uh, connecting them to uh, a firewall which is a GNU firewall and uh, you need the finally to add the um, interface and let's add this interface I don't know sometimes if you don't uh, hit apply uh, you have problem now it will not work do you see the error on the down sc uh, screen uh, just do this bring two of them let's do the same trick and change the sample to the to the same and uh, to change uh, the host name but no no will not uh, change the host name we will change uh, the the text edit text and just we want to hide it uh, okay and lower it one layer and finally you go and uh, do this oh what's wrong oops mm. what Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. What's wrong? Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Do you see that? Okay. Sometimes it's not work. It's not working. okay fine that's uh, perfect now just to uh, make uh, the topology more uh, clear or more uh, nicer just we do this and they become the same mm, sorry bring this here and both this um, <coughs> you can make it prettier as as much as you want uh, now those two routers will we will make them uh, uh, operate as VRRP uh, routers And those will be two hosts one attached to uh, fast Ethernet uh, one slash three one slash four final thing we will start both of them Now let's begin uh, configuration. Uh, first thing you should uh, uh, configure your switch. Uh, so we need uh, to make uh, uh, interface uh, range fast Ethernet uh, one slash one slash two dash two fast Ethernet range. Mm, this, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, both of them will be uh, switchboard mode trunk and switchboard trunk allowed VLAN all uh, now uh, uh, those uh, two interfaces will be in trunk mode and uh, both of the routers Juniper routers will be uh, sub interfaces and each interface will be uh, VLAN trunking will carry 
VLAN tags. Uh, so uh, uh, for each sub interface, we will see now how to make sub interfaces also. Uh, let's go to interface uh, one dash three. You can remove the range now because it's one interface and uh, switchboard mode access switchboard access vlan uh, let's make two vlans 10 and 20 uh, for four uh, for the interface one slash four switchboard mode access switchboard access vlan 20 and uh, I think uh, that's uh, everything uh, we want. And uh, he create the uh, VLANs for us. Now here we have uh, to uh, to set interface. Uh, first, uh, we should configure uh, OSPF because we like to use OSPF, or because it's uh, almost. Uh, that's uh, we see um, I just uh, make them work VTY SH and show running config mm, nothing almost nothing okay so we don't need any configuration we have uh, the uh, router ID, auto cost, uh, reference bandwidth, and network, uh, default info information originate. Always we say that this just to give the both of uh, the Juniper routers uh, default gateway. Now uh, set interface EM because this is our uh, Juniper router uh, R11. Uh, this is one uh, VLAN tagging. And now we'll change to zero or oh, no we'll change to 10 because uh, this uh, our first interface let's uh, say edit interface now set family inet address 172 uh, 20 and uh, because this is the VLAN 10 and we make the interface uh, uh, sub interface let's say sub interface 10 so to make it uh, sub interface like Cisco routers we say VLAN tagging VLAN tagging uh, on the uh, interface uh, as an overall interface not sub interface like this or VLAN uh, and uh, we'll put 20 slash 24 and we will set uh, VLAN ID 10 uh, and uh, let's edit now uh, now we will talk about the the VRRP specific uh, commands uh, let's uh, say edit uh, family inet address 172 20 10 11 slash 24 and now we can set VRRB group 1 and you can see all the specific uh, uh, commands for VRRB uh, now let's say we want first you know we need virtual address uh, and we will make it 172 20 10 one and you can uh, provide more information um, let's say for now this is the our first our first uh, thing uh, let's uh, provide um, what what's the uh, priority for this uh, we know we have in the same group more than uh, one router so we need priority by default it's 100 but we can uh, provide like 80 or uh, 70 or more than uh, we have a range from uh, 0 or 1 I don't know <laughs> really uh, 
from zero yes to 255 uh, so uh, 255 uh, nobody can talk with 255 uh, VRRB router um, let's say this is the default router and we have 100 it's by default 100 anyway and, um, and now to bring uh, this virtual uh, IB we can provide the let's uh, take a D block now no accept data so don't accept packets uh, destined for virtual IB but we will accept data accept data destined for virtual IB address now it's like a pseudo pseudo uh, packets will yeah he will the uh, the real R, uh, IB will take the packets and uh, let's say will uh, make uh, some modification on it uh, to uh, uh, to show you that uh, the uh, virtual IB is available now that's everything we need to do with uh, this uh, VLAN or this ver first VLAN uh, let's exit from here or let's say top don't say to commit your changes uh, because without committing uh, our changes uh, we uh, we really do nothing uh, now uh, let's set interface loopback uh, loopback 0 slash 0 family inet address uh, let's say this is the address 172 dot 20 dot 11 dot 11 so we we know that uh, we can make it uh, slash 23 but I like it a full uh, IBA address subnet now uh, uh, let's uh, let's configure uh, OSPF set uh, protocols OSPF uh, set the protocol OSPF and uh, area area zero uh, interface loop back loop back zero pass it because we don't need uh, to uh, make a full uh, process for uh, loop back interface we know that loop back interfaces uh, are not connected to anything so now interface em0 but em0 still to this uh, moment are not configured not configured to this time <laughs> okay sorry um i think that's it let's set interface em0 0 family oops family I need address 172.16.1.11 slash 24 and we need finally to commit our changes uh, show route let's take a look and see what we have Mm. Now, now we listen for the uh, multicast IP address of OSPF, which is dot five for routers. Uh, let's take another look. Still, to this moment, mm, nothing. Nothing. What's wrong? Let's ping. Oh, sorry. Run ping. Run ping 172.16.1.11. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we can we can reach it, but uh, still we can't uh, make let's uh, we can't make a, re a relationship, neighbor relationship. Show uh, protocols. Uh, show SPF neighbors. SPF neighbors we have neighbor relationship mm, 
but we don't have hmm. we have n neighbor relationship but we don't have uh, all the routes uh, let's show show routes show OSPF show protocol what show route show IP OSPF <laughs> طيب um, still we don't have show OSPF neighbors we don't have neighbor relationship we don't have neighbor relationship but we have here neighbor relationship with 11 um let's say sure wall I don't know what's wrong mm. still okay pink 172 16 11 yeah we can reach it show IP OSPF neighbors still that's weird okay let's show a configuration mm, this is we have EM0 here we have EM0 here can reach them we can do okay let's take a look about on the uh, BI slash ETC short wall uh, policies Okay, now mm, from DMZ, from local, accept from what is the interfaces? Let's write mem. Let's exit this. And let's restart.
up anyways anyways let's say that uh, we can reach the internet so uh, let's move to uh, the other router and we will troubleshoot it again uh, after we finish this uh, now let's set interface em0 slash 0 family inet address 172 20 172 16 1 uh, 12 slash 24 this is the interface will uh, uh, we will reach the internet uh, via this interface and we will set interface uh, l o zero slash zero family i net address address uh, one seven two twenty two 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 slash twenty four uh, and we will set interface uh, em uh, em uh, two uh, VLAN tagging and we will edit interface em2 dot uh, 2 dot 10 will set family inet address 172 20 10 12 slash 24 and we will edit this now and now you should set vlan id uh, no 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 mm, that's um let's exit from here and set vlan id 10 and let's move again because i don't want uh, to make uh, a lot of troubleshooting and make uh, um, so much confusion uh, can confuse you <laughs> about the steps uh, so just uh, now we we will uh, we are in the edit mode for the interface em2 unit 10 family inet this is the ib address uh, now let's set vrrb group 1 family uh, virtual virtual ib virtual address uh, 172 16 uh, 2010 and this is will be one as the uh, juniper router uh, 11 and uh, now uh, we will uh, add the priority now this is will be the secondary uh, for the, the lan uh, network so the first one was priority 100 and this is the priority 80 and let's accept the data so we can bing it and we can troubleshoot something um, i wonder what's happened oh. uh, let's go and see the configuration yeah 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 we need to put this ib address uh no we he d he don't see the ib addresses even so ether 3 is not configured so what should we do is this we will go to the global configuration mode and we will say interface uh, eth3 uh, ib address 172.16.1.11 slash 24 i think this will solve our problem right mem show running config oh yeah i think now we can talk yeah let's still mm. this is 11.11 .11. 
11 slash 24 Let's go to the global configuration mode and the router OSPF. Oops, router OSPF and uh, OSPF router ID 172.1.11. Oops, no. and auto cost reference bandwidth 10,000 network 172.16.1.0.24 area 0 ok default information originate always exit and exit and write mem ok let's move again last time still nothing let's see the show ib ospf neighbors still nothing uh, okay let's exit from here and we will show the message the message mm. okay let's uh, tail 15 slash sorry slash 15 by the way this is uh, Linux GNU Linux uh, uh, GNU Linux operating system but we add some software and uh, then it becomes a real router uh, and uh, Let's say show wall setting up done process. Okay, let's say messages. Nothing. Okay, let's say show wall. Okay. even we can test uh, uh, in this way we can test from here to see uh, if our LAN switching uh, is working we can uh, ping 172.16.1.11 and we can see that we can reach uh, the uh, GNU router um, now we finish let's say show uh, and let's commit can we ping can we ping the other uh, virtual router we can't we can't ok now set up and run ping 172.16 uh, 20 uh, 10 11 and we can't let's say show show we have this IP address VLAN 10 virtual IP 
we don't have anything but it show that uh, the packets are dropped by zero packet received two packet transmitted let's make last modification and we will delete this yeah let's delete it and we will delete this also and we will put two ethernet switches this is will be here and this one will be anyway anywhere you want uh, because this is just like a wire not something uh, so complex is not free oh, I'm sorry two five okay let's now try again bismillah still okay let's run show route run show route show us that we have 10 10 uh, 11 20 10 11 slash 23 directed connected via what is this yeah 11 uh, we have we need 10.10 10, this one 10.10.11 10, I wonder what happened to this one VLAN load all okay let's take a look uh, in this side of the equation and we will show interface what's this show interface trunk nothing how that can be show interfaces trunk nothing okay we have nothing here okay show running config Come on. What's wrong with this guy? Okay. Mm, we have uh, here. Yeah. Switch port, mode trunk. Switch port, mode trunk. Switch port, mode the trunk, switch port, trunk, allowed VLAN. All oh, it must be okay. Let's go to the global configuration mode and let's go to switch port, mode, trunk, switch port, trunk, allowed VLAN, then uh, from one. To 1005 <laughs> let's uh, exit from here and it's the same like uh, uh, switchboard trunk allowed VLAN all but this is the other way of saying that but we have real problem here okay show VLAN Switch brief. Mm. Okay, that's nice. There are both of them. Mm. Let's go to global configuration mode and we'll try last thing. So let's say shutdown and we will say again no shutdown.
Okay. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, let's try. Still. Aha. Uh -huh. Now it's working. Wow. That's really complex. <laughs> I hope that uh, you you understand everything I did. Uh, all the steps ev it's it's more more uh, let's say it's more uh, troubleshooting more than <laughs> configuration of VRRB show IP route oops route still nothing let's uh, show IP route show route anyway uh, will not uh, troubleshoot more than this now we have uh, uh, both of them uh, configured with one and only one uh, vlan now we will move to the other vlan by saying set uh, or la no we will edit interface em uh, and this is one uh, dot uh, 20 because we bought vlan tagging so we don't need to uh, put it again VLAN ID and this is 20 and now set uh, family INET address uh, 172 20 and this is will be 20 also and this 11 slash 24 and you edit this because we don't need to put like set family INET address da 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 then a uh, virtual a uh, VRRP group to a virtual address dot 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 um, you know what uh, I mean uh, so let's set uh, VRRP group to uh, address uh, sorry virtual address and this is 172 20 21 uh, I think and we will say the priority now we need this to be the secondary or the backup the backup router so we will make it 80 and that the other one which is juniper router uh, r12 will be the primary so it's by default will be priority of 100 so we will not change the default priority and we will say uh, uh, let's accept the data uh, I think uh, that's everything yeah let's commit our changes and move to the other one set uh, uh, set okay let's set interface em2 dot 20 family inet address 172 20 20 12 slash 24 and we will say um, let's edit this set uh, VLAN uh, where are we okay let's exit this let's exit and we will set Dot, dot 20 VLAN um, let's edit this yeah we'll edit this and set VLAN ID 20 and we will edit Oops. Oh, okay, okay. Let's exit from here and we'll edit. Now we can set VRRP group to uh, virtual address 172.20.20.1 and we will make this 
accept the data and we will make it uh, the priority 100 it's by default 100 let's let's add it just to make you remember what we talk about I think this is more beneficial to see uh, the um, the load balance between two VLANs and the uh, redundancy uh, using VRRB uh, so now we can uh, run ping 172.20.20 and 11 we can ping it so it's uh, uh, we can't I think because this is our self we can't ping ourselves um, let's say comment uh, we, we commit this so let's move to the top and run ping on 72 20 20 12 and everything move forward last thing we need to do uh, is this uh, let's let's show run show or show if you are in the privilege mode in the user mode uh, let's show um, VRRB summary VRRB summary yeah uh, a summary I think let's uh, VRRB not running are you sure? show um, So we have this first one. This is VRRB2. Oh, I wonder how, how it's not running. Show. run show route that's pretty interesting okay let's set uh, let's set um, let's set the protocols VRRB uh, trace options and flag uh, okay state and don't know I think general will be beneficial and what else file where all those will be logged file file Let's make a file, call it VRRB and commit. Oops. Let's exit and show. Show VRRB track. What are you talking about? How VRP is not running? And here, run show VRP brief not running. That's pretty interesting. Start. Monitor start. We are nothing. 
I think uh, to this point we we see everything all the configuration maybe this is something uh, wrong with my routers uh, because uh, both of them show us this is not running or we are being not running show configuration and you see that we pretty um, do, uh, did everything um, uh, and even let's uh, run show configuration let's show run show configuration run show configuration yeah. you can see that um, okay hang with me for a second hello again um, I really I'm not uh, I, I don't know what sh should I say but uh, we know that VRRB use multicast to uh, to work properly because it uh, should listen to the uh, virtual IB and uh, the MAC address which is the virtual MAC address for every group uh, and uh, this MAC address is different from uh, what suppose uh, the Ethernet interface uh, should listen to so you can see uh, this uh, this two or uh, this is the first two uh, results from the search uh, I found this uh, VRB master needs to answer queries issued to VRB virtual MAC address so your router need to accept traffic destined to different MAC address blah 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 uh, now this is from GNS3 uh, uh, forum um, what uh, so important here is that the OSPF also use multicast but uh, it work uh, very well but for uh, this is from uh, Juniper um, forums or what's this it's not forum it's just like um, yeah forums but from routing uh, where P configuration all of uh, here yes this this answer um, uh, what the uh, Juniper employees say VRB packets are sent encapsulated in IP packets they are sent to IP version 4 multicast address signed to VRRB uh, 2240018 if you run Olive on VMware or yeah, virtual hypervisor it would not work at all since multicast does not work at all in virtual environment just for VRRB because we have uh, security issues uh, with VRRB because it uh, should listen to something rather than the default you see I know by default due to security reasons so everything we did really uh, is uh, pretty nice and uh, uh, fully uh, full configuration uh, um, all the steps we did uh, is perfect and it's fine if you do it in real world it will work uh, just fine thank you for your listening have a nice time assalamu alaikum wa